Hey foodies, welcome back to Yummy Cafe with Ash. Today I'm preparing okra, stuffed okra or lady fingers or you can say bharwa bindi which is very very uh, different and unique recipe I'm going to share with you. So for this we need the okra or lady's finger. You need to cut the heads and tails and slit it from the middle. First of all you have to wash it and then chop it like this. All should be neatly clean. If, if there is anything inside dirt or worms, you can just simply throw it. And the uh, clean okra will use. Now in this, we'll make filling out of peanuts. I have this roasted peanuts. This okra I'm taking, ladies finger, half kg. And uh, for this, I need 100 gram of peanuts. And we need uh, about 50 gram of roasted sesame seeds also or till. We need some dry spices. I need uh, like uh, turmeric powder, red chili powder, salt and coriander powder. And this dry mango powder as well which is called amchur. And we need oil in the pan of course. Two tablespoons as usual. So let's start making our masala. First of all, I'll take the small grind the jar mixer jar the smallest one which grinds very fine in this I'll add this uh, peanuts and all you need to do is just grind it into a coarse powder not really fine powder so friends now I'm done with the grinding part the peanuts are grinded very nicely now I'll take it out in a bowl and uh, we'll mix some dry spices into this in this we'll add one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder half teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt according to taste one teaspoon and two tablespoons of uh, coriander powder and also we are going to add in this some amchur or dry mango powder about one teaspoon So this is our amchur powder or dry mango powder. You can also use lemon juice instead if you want. And now in this I'll add one spoon of oil, one generous spoon need to make it like a paste and we'll do filling in these uh, okras with this paste. Okra or bindi is my one of my favorite uh, things and I'm making it with different different recipes always I'm trying to make it different and always crispy I like it I don't like it very wet or mushy so I'm going to fill it little little in every bindi or okra make sure the masala is stuffed very nicely like this one by one we'll fill all and then by the time we'll prepare our pan hot with two tablespoon of oil and we'll fry them so friends now my all uh, bindis are stuffed very nicely this uh, stuffed okra is almost ready to go into the pan and i have kept already some oil in the pan to become sh to do it shallow fry <clears throat> it's about two to three tablespoons as per you need but at least three tablespoon it needs and we are doing it in the non-stick pan so hopefully it will not absorb too much oil now i will put all the okra into this This is an excellent side dish with the, any curry and rice or chapati, you can use it. And okra is very very delicious and nutritious as well as it has a lot of calcium and minerals and vitamins. So make sure you make it for your children as well. So now we'll 
cover it for about 1 minute and then we will open it and cook it for 3 to 5 minutes. Just put the lid for 1 minute and after that you have to keep uh, stirring it and let it be crunchy in 5 to 7 minutes it can take or maybe 4 to 5 minutes let's see how long it takes after uh, a while. So after a minute I have opened the pan and we will cook it in without the lid and as you can see some of us are getting brown so we need to keep changing their size and let it be crunchy for about 3 to 4 minutes more on very very low flame you can do this if your flame is high maybe it can cook it can be cooked very quickly but still it needs to be lower flame because on higher flame it can burn after 4 to 5 minutes my bindis are crunchy and absolutely ready to be served but before that we we'll do the last step we need to sprinkle sesame seeds on top also if you want you can add asafoetida or hing in the oil before frying the bindis because for some people it gives uh, digestion problems if you add ginger or asafoetida you will never have that problem and now our delicious super crunchy nutty flavored bindis are ready to be served if you are allergic to nuts or peanuts you can simply use the dry spices in the little oil and uh, just fill it with that that will be perfectly alright and now I am going to serve my bindis So friends now our stuffed bindi or stuffed okra or stuffed lady's finger is ready to be served. It's piping hot and very crispy and crunchy. If you like my recipe please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Yummy Cafe with Ash. Till the next time enjoy this yummy delicious recipe. Take care.